Hey guys, so I'm just getting ready for the day. Um, if you're new here, I'm Christine. Hair is still a bit damp because I tend to like to just let it air dry. So this is for real, like I'm for real getting ready. <laughs> um, all right, so I actually decided to like flip my LCD screen away so I can't see myself because I am such an easily distracted person. Like it's something that I'm really trying to work on. Ugh, like this, okay, so this morning, um, after my run with my boyfriend, I had to drive back home and I was so like in deep thought that I drove past a flashing school bus and it was really hard to like not let that ruin my day. Like I was, <laughs> I was so mad at myself because it was just such a careless mistake and I'm pretty sure the bus driver honked at me. It's so easy to be distracted while you're driving. I know not everyone follows me on Facebook, but I did have a like you know, pledge that it can wait, you know, like it can wait the phone, like don't text and drive. Even if you're someone who talks and drives and that distracts you, like honestly, it distracts me. And it's something that I just had to learn. Um, even when I'm in deep thought, I'm like, gosh, I need to be more paranoid, be more aware of my surroundings when I drive. Cause I'm, I'm just so comfortable when I drive. So if you're like me, just trust me, you don't want to get all these tickets. They add up. It's, it's ridiculous. So <laughs> Yeah, anyways, um, I'm gonna be trying out this. Some of these products were sent to me from the Shumura, Shumurakami line, and it's so freaking cute, look at that. So I wanted to see how this looks on. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on now. Um, I know I'm like totally working backwards, but that way I know what to do with the rest of the look. So I'm just gonna try it. Okay, this is super wearable. It's totally my kind of color. I'm talking too much and I'm not getting stuff done. Let's get stuff done. All right, let's uh, get the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer on because I use this every time I'm about to put anything on my face. Skin, can you guys tell? It's skin has been crap lately. Um, I really, I haven't been taking as good of care of it as I could be and I know that. But yeah, it's fall. It's my favorite time of the year. Okay, so now I just want like a really, um, you know, not too much coverage, it's, it's morning, or it's almost noon actually. <laughs> so I just want like not too heavy coverage. I'm gonna mix a bit of my Smashbox Studio Skin in the shade 2.3 with my IT Anti-Aging Armor Super Smart Skin Perfecting Beauty Fluid and it has SPF 50. The way I think of this, it's like pretty liquidy, so I think of it almost like a, as a BB liquid instead of a BB cream because it doesn't give as much coverage, which is kind of nice, especially with this lip color. I feel like it's like so like, kind of sweet and fresh looking, you know? We're not trying to go for that like extra perfect glam selfie type of look today. <laughs> Just gonna meet up with my friend for lunch, which is nice. You know, I've, I have to tell you guys, like I've been trying to make much more of an effort to, I guess just socialize and keep in touch with people. Cause for me, it's really easy to kind of forget to do that um, or even forget the importance of it and even have like a weird anxiety over like oh you know I don't want to like bother people and ask them to hang out what if they are what if they're busy or what if I don't know I'm just like troubling them or they just feel bad and like they have to hang out with me it's it's so ridiculous you know what I mean like I don't know why we just get caught up in like these silly thoughts and I'm like yeah screw that like I'm just gonna start letting people know like I'm thinking of them or like you know that I'm planning to do this and see if they want to come along and just see what happens okay so that didn't cover a ton but I like I like how that gave me a little bit of color and some life but for all these blemishes I am going to use my Smashbox Studio Skin 24 hour waterproof concealer I really like this I feel like it um last a long time. The shade that I'm using is Light Warm. So we're just going to get that under here. I feel like we should just kind of fast forward through this part. I really want to just, I really just want to ask like how you guys are doing because sometimes it's easy to just be like, oh, so what's up with you? So that you don't like, you don't have to talk about yourself, which you, know, you would think like as someone who's done YouTube for so long that I'd be all about like talking about myself, but it's kind of the opposite, you know? I 
I don't know if this is like weird or embarrassing to admit, um, but usually like the people that I care the most about, I don't want to burden them with my problems or I don't know, like I want to be that, that happy person for them, you know, because everyone's going through crap, like everyone's going through something. And once they open up and tell me like what their problems are, and I appreciate that because I mean, I think that means like you, that person feels comfortable with you, you know. Um, don't think that just because I don't tell you guys everything about my personal life that I don't feel comfortable comfortable with you. It's just more that, you know, I know for some people and even myself that anything that's kind of like negative or that sounds a little bit sad, that it can be a trigger for some people. And it's it triggers me sometimes. Like when I see people kind of down the dumps or feeling depressed and like, Sometimes it's really, and I'm, I'm around that energy, sometimes I have a hard time not letting that affect me because I think I just care so much. Recently, I found myself finding it easier to like open up about my problems and just kind of talk about myself like, you know, without even holding back to strangers, to people who I feel like have, they're like neutral ground, you know, and I'm not having to worry about them caring about me too much or having it affect them. Because of course, like, it affects you when you care about those people. Um, and it's not that I think of them as a burden, but I just, I don't know, I just think of myself that way for some reason. Because I just, I'd rather like be that beacon of light, you know, that positive person in people's lives. And that's that's why it's hard for me, you know, that that's it. It's not because I'm like so private or I'm like, you know, <laughs> that I'm like, a, you know, a closed book. I just, just don't want to burden people with my problems. We all have problems. I lost my train of thought. I have to start over. <laughs> so basically what I was trying to say is that I think we just get so caught up in seeing so much perfection that it's almost hard to like show the rawness sometimes. And you know, we're human, we're not robots. It gets to the point sometimes where I like I'll overthink shooting something. I'll overthink it and then I'll start doubting myself. And then it'll just kill the mood. And then it's like, all right. I guess today's not going to be a filming day. And it's like, you just have to get, I just had to get over that. This is supposed to be a fun thing. Like this is a, like I enjoy doing this and it's, I can only blame myself for making it less enjoyable. But that's not really the reason why I was on such a hiatus. Um, I was on a hiatus because I was just really trying to figure out my next step in life. Like, is this going to continue being my career? And you, know, you guys know when this started, this was not my career at all. Like this is this was a hobby. It was just something I really enjoyed doing. And I still do enjoy doing it, you know? Like I don't want you guys to think otherwise. Um, and then at some point I was like, oh, maybe this could be like a part-time thing. Yeah, let's, let's have it be that because I can't believe I earn anything from doing this. Like that's so crazy. So let's let it be a part-time thing. But no, I'm never, it's never gonna be my full-time thing. Like I was so adamant about that for a long time. But then in the past couple or so years, maybe two to three years, I was like, maybe I should give this a chance and try to have this be my full-time gig. Like, how many people have the chance to do that, right? Um, like, I don't take any of this for granted. I feel so fortunate. I'm gonna use my Lorac Pro palette. This is the Mega 3 Pro palette. Let's see, let's go into Hickory. And I'm just using the short shader E20 by Sigma. I feel like the quick way to do the brows lately, just because I've been more and more lazy about them, <laughs> is to just get some powder on there first. And then I'll go back and like clean it up with either a pencil brow product or with like a an angled brush and just really clean it up. Sort of made my full time thing. Um, and then I fell into this cycle of <laughs> in my head I was thinking doom but but that's like really that's over dramatic just the cycle of like getting like working 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 trying to pump out stuff just trying to make it happen the more systematic it got the more I felt like oh I should be doing I have to do it this way I have to do it that way the more I just wasn't having fun with it anymore and that's, that's such a shame you know and I think Sometimes it's tough because I don't feel like I always have someone to talk about this with since um, most of my friends do work more conventional jobs and even even as I tell people now like 
that I'm trying to transition from this being a career, it's not that I'm giving up on YouTube or that I'm not gonna post ever again. I'm just trying to make the transition of this not being my full-time thing anymore. And it's really, I don't know, psychologically, I guess it's just, it's been a lot harder on me than I ever thought it would be. It's hard to not think like, oh, did I fail at this? You know, it's hard to feel like other people are not gonna see it as a failure or think I gave up. Cause I, I've had people say to me, oh, like you're giving up? Like they're like in shock, you know? And then of course, like it, it gets to me. <laughs> I, I don't want it to and it's, I hate that. Like I hate that, that even, I even let that get to me. I've had to just spend time telling myself like you have to allow yourself to grow. It's okay to want to try new things and explore different career paths. I mean, many people grow, go through many jobs before they finally figure out, hey, this is it. So I just feel like I have to give myself that chance. You know, no one else is gonna do it for me. No one else, I don't have a boss. Like I'm my own boss. And that's, sometimes that can be the most difficult thing. So I was using hickory on the ends and now I'm taking a little bit of vintage for the inside inner part so that it doesn't look too like harsh here. I think I'm just gonna keep it really soft and just, you know, not too perfect today. I don't know if I mentioned, I already primed my lids with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. Okay, so what did you wanna do today? Oh yeah. I also want to see how these look, um, the Shu Murakami. I'm also going to use these two eyeliners. I think I'm just going to keep that on the outer half. When I'm, a, when I'm in a hurry, I don't even worry about trying to get up in there because just keeping it simple. Take the Sigma smudge brush. It's smaller than the other one and just sort of smudge this out. Like, sometimes I think to myself, I wish you guys were like just right here and we can just like talk, you know what I mean? What do I want to do my eyes? I actually don't really want to do too much to it, but I do really love this palette. This Sigma Tapered Blending Brush is just the really floofy one. Um, and it, let's get at least like a simple wash over the lid. So let's do Pecan right here. We're gonna take Deep Fog. I haven't used that shade yet, so I was like, let's play with it. Ooh, that is, see, these are always more pigmented than I think they'll be. <laughs> it's much darker than I thought it'd be. I'm just gonna put that over the line. Let's see, is that too dark? No, I like it. I like it. Yeah, you guys know me, I like my smoky eyes. So, we're just gonna give that all over. Softly blend it upwards. It's a good thing I put that first layer down first so that this doesn't look way too harsh. So yeah, that, I mean, that's just a part of what I, I guess I've been going through. And it's like, it's silly. I, I never wanted to make it a big deal. I want, I always thought of it as like, okay, you know, once you get over this hump, this slump, this rut, whatever you want to call it, like once you're ready to put your best face forward, once you can be this happy, you know, chipper person for them again, that's when you'll come back. I like told myself, yeah, pull yourself out of this. Stop being a hermit, like socialize with people. Um, let people care about you and show them you care about them, you know? I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm like, it's just tough for me. Maybe it's my upbringing. Okay, let's try out this shade. I think it's going to complement the eye look nicely. Yeah. I think I'm going to get just a little bit of that navy liner on the inner waterline, inner half waterline. All right, <laughs> I had to grab the eyelash curler. In this, in this collaboration, they have an eyelash curler too. I haven't tried this one yet, so let's see. Because I've been using my Lancome one for so long, like this does feel a little different. So we actually got a little cut off, but all I did was I just used the navy blue liner and I just um, rimmed the inner half. And now I'm about to apply some mascara. All right, so I'm applying the Maybelline Lash Stiletto. That's what I've been using. I mean, I'm really happy that I went into this with it being a hobby first, because I think for people to say like, oh, you know, I know this is what I was meant to do. This is, I'm so passionate about this. Like I've always dreamt about doing this. This is, this is my path. It's not always that clear for everybody and I don't think you have to feel like 
this is what I've been saying more and more too. I don't think you have to feel like you have to pursue your passions. You know what I mean? Like it's okay to have passions as your hobby. It's okay to have interests that you don't make a career out of, that you don't turn into a business. Like it's okay. Those can be things that you do for yourself, that you enjoy for yourself, that makes you happy, that makes you sane, you know, that brings balance into your life. And that that's exactly what I realized. I'm like, I'm, I feel like I feel so imbalanced and I just had to get to the root of why that is. And I'm still trying to find clarity, like by talking to different people, by reading up on all these articles. I read a couple articles yesterday where I felt like, oh my gosh, this hits home for me, you know? And that's when I realized, Christine, you have to, you have to just do this video and talk about it, you know? Because someone out there, even if only one of you guys can relate to this, like, just remembering how I felt last night, like, oh my gosh, this hit home for me. Like, I finally feel not alone. I feel like someone gets it. I want, if even just one of you guys can feel that out there, like, I feel like I've done my part. I feel like this was purposeful. So, yeah, I mean, it feels, it does feel good to talk about it. <laughs> and I, I have been so afraid to talk about this with you guys because I've been doing this for almost 10 years, you know? It's just awkward to talk about because this is the dream for some people and I don't want to crush anybody's dreams. I just feel like it's important to have a realistic viewpoint of it too, you know? like. You, you can go out there and see all the great things, all the great things about it, but I think it's good to know the good and bad. Let's wrap this up. Yeah. So yeah, usually when I do my makeup like day to day, I'm not really like stressing about it being overly perfect. I'm just trying to look alive too, you know? <laughs> I've had people ask me, it's like, oh, do you ever like, when you come across people, do you look at them and are you like the makeup police? Do you judge them on how they've done their makeup? And you know, I'll, I'll notice if someone has makeup on because it's like, I can't help but notice that. But I'm not gonna be like, ugh, they could have done this better. Like, <laughs> it, it's more like, I appreciate that someone cared to put the effort, you know, into the way they look or if that, doing that made them feel good that day. That, I think that's what's awesome. So many times like, I'm, and I'm sure you guys have like witnessed this so often too, where girls like shame each other for making the effort. Like, why? Why would you do that? You know, I remember one of my friends, you know, this was maybe not like too, too long after she had a baby. And then she was rocking some high heel stilettos, you know, and, and like, I was just like, dude, that's awesome. And then one of the other friends was like, why are you wearing high heels? As if like moms can't be hot too. Like, I just, I don't get that. You know, you got to do what makes you feel good and celebrate it. So don't shame other girls for like making the effort because maybe they're doing that because that makes that makes them feel better that day. It, make, it makes them feel like they can get through the day, you know? You just never know what people are going through, right? Moral of the story. So I'm just using NARS Madly. I think this is discontinued, which is a bummer. I it was even like, Christine, you should use something else because you're always using this and if they can't get their hands on it, how rude, you know? <laughs> but I just love it, I love it. And I'm using the Real Techniques uh, blush brush. Let's grab this soft focus shader brush. It's like this wide, dense brush. We're gonna get Crepe. It's just a off-white cream uh, matte shadow. Just gonna get that underneath my brow. Go into Kava. This is sort of like a champagne shade. Wow, it's shim more shimmery than I thought it'd be just to brighten that area up. Okay, I'm just gonna actually blow dry my hair and make it look somewhat decent and I'll be right back. I'm actually just gonna do one last thing. Um, I did add a little bit more mascara because it just wasn't feeling very balanced. But I'm just gonna take the little smudge brush and go into dark navy. Just wanted to add a little, just a tiny wing. So that's my lazy wing for you guys. But yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm so awkward about this, you know? Like, I, I don't know. Anyways, I love you guys. Like, I love you guys so, so much. Please let me know how you're doing. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm actually, I, I forgot to mention, I'm actually, like, so much happier after taking the break because I guess I needed it. I started just trying to have fun again, and I have been, and I'm so much happier. So, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna see you guys next time. Bye.